Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. The most important and most uh, popular question I have got um, in Call of Dragons from viewers or simply from the players uh, is what to research next in technology uh, like am i choosing the correct pass uh, this is the like fastest way of progressing through the military tech or economy tech so uh, finally i decided to uncover all of my uh, experiences through the technology my mistakes and my uh, like new uh, things which made me easier to understand how to move past the technology in this game uh, let's dive in, like there is a couple of uh, steps in order to make your pass, make your journey uh, much more e easier regarding technology in this game. Uh, and first of all, one of the most important steps which every single player should do until you're going to progress uh, into the later stages is to uh, have VIP shop uh, level 8 in order to be able to research um, like two technologies at the same time. That's like one of the most crucial perks in the game. Uh, it's not that hard even if you're just starting the game or like you are like you have paid for two or three months um, as a free-to-play player or pay-to-win player. Just like spend your gems in order to get a second research queue because it will uh, double your speed in terms of progression um, through the technology. And at the beginning of the game, especially, um, your main aim should be to unlock tier 4 units and it will make your path uh, to have to get a stronger units uh, like double uh, faster, right? So this should be your main priority. Forget about heroes, forget about artifacts um, like at the beginning of the game. Uh, try to get at least minimum to the level 8. Uh, in order to get the research speed because uh, like at first uh, you might think that like you are wasting too much resources but trust me uh, it will make your gameplay a lot, lot funner and a lot, lot uh, better. The second step which is important and I think a lot of players are forgetting it uh, like there is a couple of uh, ways uh, how you can make your uh, like technology research speed uh, uh, decreased uh, first of all, everybody should understand and remember that uh, itself, uh, the uh, building of the technology uh, gives you like research speed up bonus, which is like 80% on level 24. Uh, that's why, uh, like, remember that like even construction upgrades will uh, give you some power and some uh, buffs, which is important for you, right? And 80% is a lot. Uh, whenever you are going to the later stages of the game, you understand that every percentage is important because some technologies require to be researched in 100 days, like in 55 days, right? So uh, every single uh, like percentage decrease in this game is really, really important. And remember, Whenever you are uh, like uh, moving forward to the later stages of the technology tree, uh, like uh, your construction level should be higher. That's why you are increasing your power by uh, technology and uh, construction at the same time. But another way ho to how to decrease uh, the uh, speed of the research is to uh, get lucky in terms of uh, uh, mana stones, right? Uh, for example, um, I will show you the example. It might not be the exact mana stone, but uh, here should be some uh, like building, right? Uh, building speed up is 10% uh, faster. Like there might be like 15% research speed up, which means like our uh, like research construction gave us 80% and the, like simple mana stone will give us uh, like 15% and for the uh, research of 100 days that's a big big decrease also remember that uh, these uh, mana stones only matter like before you click on the research right like it will decrease time you will see time decreased and then you're gonna research your uh, technology like sometimes people are forgetting that and uh, that's quite important right like if you are already researching something and you just pick up the mana stone it won't gonna apply it only applies before you're gonna click on the research so uh, that's important step also 
Um, so let's move on to the next step, which is like directly about research. Uh, let's say we already have uh, two research uh, tabs, uh, queues, and we can, you, you can simply do same as me. Uh, first of all, in my opinion, uh, like you need to uh, make your attention towards uh, technology econometry. And uh, here, first and big step is to get to this scholarship, right? And yet again, uh, why 15% uh, research speed? Uh, like most unique uh, buff, um, in, like in the most important buff in general in the game. Uh, try to get at the scholarship too. It's a maximum. And like, by the way, uh, if you are moving forward for tier 5 units, you have to have a uh, scholarship 1, uh, container upgrade 2 to the maximum level, um, architect, to, architect 2, which gonna give you building speed, um, also important. Uh, like uh, buff the, to have and 35% is a lot. Uh, supply chains 1, overall gathering speed 10%, and container upgrade 3 to the maximum. Like this 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, and 6 uh, like technologies is important to upgrade until the maximum. Uh, and like you, you don't have to actually upgrade the stamina 2 and the breath of the control to the, to the maximum right now. Uh, you can upgrade them at later stages of these four uh, technologies but at first uh, my advice would be to just focus on the scholarship one container upgrade two uh, architect two uh, supply chains one uh, uh, container upgrade two and scholarship two and at that time uh, whenever you will be upgrading these uh, technologies top uh, it's a scholarship tool that's uh, how i would use my one research queue like strictly uh, for econometry uh, that's my idea uh, that's how i generally went through and that's how i made even a couple of mistakes and then i understood that it was a correct way so spend your one research queue um, to upgrade these uh, uh, like five to six uh, uh, technologies which are really really important of course uh, it's the end you will be upgrading scholarship two and you are going to stop on this point uh, regarding econometry after that like uh, meanwhile you are um, uh, going to the scholarship two like very second step uh, of course like uh, next step uh, regarding military uh, tech uh, like m most important tech, I guess, uh, regarding the gameplay of the Call of Dragons. So we are, we are moving forward with the scholarship too on the economy um, tech. Meanwhile, we are spending the one research queue on that. So we have second research queue, which we're going to focus on military tech. Meanwhile, we are doing that on the other side. So here, our first and main job would be uh, to upgrade every single tier 4 units uh, to the tier 4, right? Uh, and most important notices here, which we need to understand that most time consuming uh, technologies here is defensive formations uh, 2, like answer to 4. Uh, defensive formations 1, uh, assault strategies 1, and first aid 1. But uh, the important thing about these two, three technologies is that in order for us to upgrade our tier 4 units, like every single one, we don't have to have uh, these three technologies uh, like upgraded uh, to the maximum, like, right? Uh, like first aid, I think it, it can be like stopped uh, until 5 to 8. Uh, like SL strategies 2, I think it's 5 to 8 maximum. Like last uh, two levels on assault strategies is like 100 days and 75 days. And we don't have to do that uh, whenever our goal is to get to tier 4. So, even if you want to have like 5-5-5, five, 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 uh, leave it at that. And like your most important aim should be to get to the tier 4s. Uh, and like, let's imagine uh, you are doing some, like, um, as I'm saying right now, and you already have a tier 4 units, right? Yeah, like you progress through the... Uh, like military tree uh, with the second uh, research queue and you have like every single legion type tier 4 and a special unit uh, uh, also another step uh, which is already late game like this stuff is already late game meanwhile you should already have a scholarship 2 upgraded uh, in order to have maximum amount of uh, research speed currently in the game uh, and right now you have a decision to make, right? If you are a free-to-play player like me, uh, you are choosing the one legion type which will be main for you. You will be like recruiting heroes only for that, uh, uh, like uh, for example, marksman. For myself, uh, 
I have every single marksman leg legendary hero and uh, simply because I'm marksman I'm uh, focusing on my marksman <clears throat> research right and I'm not forgetting like in, uh, first aid 2 and defensive formations 2 until the 8 you can handle that but after that like 75 days and 70 uh, like 5 days is a lot so that's why even I stopped and I understood that there is different priorities. For example, if you are player like me, for to play player, I chose to play with the marksmen and with the mages. And I will be my main aim will be to upgrade sharp uh, points to and marksman protection and arcana knowledge to and magic point protection to level nines uh, both sides. Uh, and uh, like un assault uh, strategies uh, until seven is acceptable because after that we are we need to have. Uh, supply chains to the second uh, like supply chains to the maximum so it, like it's really really time consuming here uh, this step is important you are choosing your play style and you are upgrading until the 9 9 uh, both sides if you will just go here and you will upgrade every single legion type uh, uh, like uh, uh, skills and you will waste your time on every single one uh, you are just wasting time uh, in order, like, simply because you are not progressing through. Uh, you are missing one of the most important and one of the most time-consuming things, which is technology, which is econometry, right? Here you are stopping. Uh, you can't go to the tier 5 because you need to have 25 level uh, building and 10-10 uh, both of the, uh, like, Legion type buffs. But for the uh, Legion type buff, you need to have uh, soul strategies 2 to the maximum. To get that, we need to have uh, supply chains two to the maximum. So the, here it comes the next step and one of the most time-consuming steps uh, is the technology tree. Like we need to have supply chains two to the maximum uh, in order to get tier fives, right? Um, it means uh, you need to have every single economy tech uh, upgraded to the maximum in order to get supply chains too. So don't uh, like uh, don't get bored. Start even from the further, maybe like you want to have like at first, in my opinion, you should go for stamina, breast, and uh, stamina and breast control and weak points to and military leadership too, right? That's important. Uh, like you are already in a stage where this is important. Uh, you moved past couple of seasons, couple of resets and uh, SP potions and SP in general and uh, hero XP and like peacekeeping damage is already getting important because you you killed too much darklings already in the game so i would focus on this uh, like uh, and uh, in order to, like to um, like research these technologies past uh, like five i need to have even forestry two to the maximum that's why i'm saying every single research here uh, should be upgraded until the maximum this like most time consuming in, uh, like period when in terms of technology upgrades uh, in general this uh, like uh, production uh, uh, technologies does not give you a lot of power but uh, in order to upgrade the supply chains too you need to have every single attack uh, here which you see uh, until the maximum well um, like i'm in a stage where like i need one more season until i will stall i will uh, finish uh, the e economy tree uh, if you are in the same spot as me, like it means you you also uh, have to have one more season uh, in order to finish the economy tree. This is like most time consuming one, um, and you need a lot of resources, and because uh, it, like uh, it doesn't take a lot of time, like one per one technology, but it needs a lot of resources, and still it's pretty annoying because you don't give too much attention to the productions uh, and like in general, uh, like. Um, mana production or iron production speed right so that's why it's pretty boring the last step um, like which is after this one um is uh, let's say we finished the economy tree and we are already here we upgraded the south strategies to to the maximum because we already have uh supply chains to uh, to the maximum and we are choosing simply <clears throat> which uh, legend with tier 5 uh, le legends type you will upgrade right after that um, like you need i guess like two or three months you're gonna finish assault strategies too you're gonna finish your uh, like legion types buffs both of them and you're already able to upgrade the uh, tier 5 unit uh, to the tier uh, like legion type to the tier 5 of course don't forget uh like uh, uh research building will give you even more uh research speed 
uh, if it will be 25 and it's mandatory to be 25 right and so it means you will have to spend 4000 gems in order to able to uh, upgrade this building to 25 because your town hall should be 25 that's already 2000 2000 gems and uh, to upgrade every like every each building to the 25 you need to have uh, 2000 uh, gems uh, like per one right so 4000 gems and uh, you need to progress through all of these technologies in order to get to tier 5 i'm not going to speak too deeply about tier 5 because i'm not the tier 5 player uh, itself uh, that that content let's uh, wait until i'm gonna go there but because like uh, uh, i guess one or maximum two more seasons and i will be able to have the joy of uh, having uh, like my marksman tier 5 at least one legion right now this is my generally most uh, popular questions which i have got uh, from the call of dragons so uh, since the beginning of the game until even if i was uh, making videos uh, I hope I covered the, all the details and all the tricks uh, which is important to know uh, regarding the research. And yeah, if you like the video and if you in general like the content which I'm making, uh, like um, press like, share, comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, it always gives me more motivation to make more and more videos. And of course, um, like as always I say, uh, comment section is to share your view about like maybe you don't you have a different opinion what and uh, what I said it does not mean that if I'm making videos I'm already always right right uh, that's why I like the Call of Dragons because there is different varieties of how to play the game in general and that's why uh, I enjoy this game uh, for a one year as a free to play player uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content and I hope you are having an amazing uh, day, morning, uh, night or evening, depending wherever you are. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. I'm gonna see you very, very soon.